Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today I'm going to show you how to install and self-host OkuWiki on Docker using Portainer. OkuWiki is a free and open source wiki platform that you can easily self-host on Docker. It is super simple to use. You can edit pages using Markdown or install a separate visual editor plugin. What makes Doku Wiki unique when compared to other wiki software is that it stores its information in Markdown files on your server rather than relying on a separate database. Since it doesn't require a separate database, Doku Wiki is not only very simple to install, it is also quick and responsive. If you have any suggestions for more application tutorials, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on new tutorials that are posted to this channel. For this tutorial I'll be using the Doku Wiki Docker container that is provided and maintained by linuxserver.io. You can find the link to this container in the Docker hub below the video. The first thing we need to do is create a folder on our Docker host system that we can map to our container. I'll ssh into my Docker host and as you can see I'm in my user home folder. I have created a folder called Docker that I bind map most of my Docker containers volumes to. Let's create a folder named Doku Wiki. Ok now that we have the folder created I can exit our SSH session and log in to the Portainer dashboard. From here we can go to our container list and click on the Add Container button. This container will be called Doku Wiki. The image is located at ghcr.io slash linux server slash docuwiki. This container requires one port to be published in order to access the application. In this case, I will map port 81 on the host to port 80 on the container. Now we can scroll down and click on Volumes. We need to map the config folder within the container to the DokuWiki folder that we created earlier in the video. In the container field, type in slash config. Now click on the bind button to signify that we want to bind the container volume to a folder on the host machine. In the host folder, type in the location of the folder that you created on the host. In my case, it was slash home slash pi slash docker slash doku wiki. Now that the volume is set up, we can click on the env button to set our environment variables. This container requires three environment variables. The first is the process user ID, or PUID, we will set the value to 1000. The second is the process group ID, or PGID, this value is also 1000. Finally, we need to add our time zone by typing in TZ. Mine is America slash New York. Next, in order to ensure that the container stays online, we must change the restart policy to unless stopped. Now we can click on the deploy the container button. This could take a while depending on the speed of your system and the speed of your internet connection. Once the download and extraction of the container is completed, you will see it on your Portner dashboard. It is best to check the logs to make sure that the container started up properly. Since this is a Linux server.io container, the container signifies that it has started successfully if the log says the word done at the end. Now, since this is the first time we are visiting our Doku Wiki installation, we have to run the installation script. We can visit the script by going to our host IP address on port 81 in a web browser and adding slash install.php at the end. This form will be used to complete the initial setup of the application. I'm going to call my installation striker docs and then set up the admin user account. After you complete the form, click the Save button. If all goes well, you will get a message saying that your configuration was finished successfully, and you can click the link to go to your Doku Wiki homepage. I'll test my installation by creating a wiki page. We can do that by clicking Start. This will take us to a page that does not exist. We can create the page by clicking on the Edit menu and selecting Create this page. I'll type in some text and click Save. And that's all there is to it. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.